Hey everybody, uh, I'm back and uh, it's probably been about a month since I did a video and the reason for it is I've been, uh, uh, well namely number one I've been distracted with a little bit of Diablo 3 uh, but number two um, I've been sinking a lot more time into uh, various books that I bought. Uh, I've kind of taken a pause on the uh, taken a pause on the Make Electronics book um, it's an excellent book, obviously, since I've done, like, I think the first 20 experiments in it. Um, I felt like some of the experiments were starting to kind of get a little tedious, and they weren't exactly what I was interested in doing. Um, so I started trying to build some of my, my own stuff, but I uh, soon realized I still had some missing uh, pieces that I didn't quite understand. I, you know, I have a fairly okay understanding of the components, um, at least the ones that have been covered in this book, but I think I, I felt like I still had some fundamental issues that were still missing, um, at least from my, uh, you know, understanding of how electricity works as opposed to electronics. Um, and I kind of have been accruing a massive book library. I just kind of wanted to show where I've been spending some of my time at varying levels. Um, first off, there's the uh, the classic TTL uh, cookbook. Um, this is a uh, old book. Uh, Don, Don Lancaster uh, wrote it, and um, basically on all the, the TTL uh, chips, the uh, logic chips. Um, excellent reference book. Not something I would probably read through um, for a uh, light, relaxing read, though. This is more of a reference book. Um, likewise, uh, another one by Don. This is the CMOS cookbook, so this is kind of the, the newer generation of chips, uh, I suppose the TTL, even though both families are uh, still heavily, heavily used today. Um, also an excellent book, um, kind of a similar uh, comment on this one, this isn't something you would <clears throat> probably read just for, for light reading, so, uh, but excellent nonetheless. Um, and I will probably do more in-depth reviews of these. Um, when I've given them a fair chance, and I've read through enough of them, but at this point, I've probably perused more of these than I've read, um, you know, than in depth. So, and you may have seen in my previous video, I referenced like these guys. These are like the uh, the uh, uh, Forest Mims uh, kind of recompilations of the uh, the Radio Shack books that he made in the 80s or 70s or thereabouts, and uh, these are excellent. They have some very interesting uh, uh, schematics in them. Um, again, I wouldn't say that this collection is... Uh, it, it's tough, because it exposes you to a lot of different kinds of circuits, but I wouldn't say that it's um, academic. It's more, I would say, a uh, supplement to the Make Electronics series. So these are fun to go through, fun to build, but they don't necessarily empower you to know how to make your own uh, like these um, already you know, drawn for you. So uh, take that as you will, but uh, I love the books. I'm probably going to come back to them after I have a more in-depth understanding of electricity as opposed to electronics. Uh, let's see. Oh, and uh, this is a fun book. This one is going to be interesting for those of you out there who are into um, you know, trying to understand how computers work. Uh, this is probably one of the best books um, ever written on the subject. And yes, the computers themselves look very antiquated at this point, but um, don't let that stop you from purchasing the book um, if you can find it. Uh, you probably will have to look on uh, the Amazon used market, that's what I did. Um, and sometimes the prices for this book are crazy, like hundreds of dollars, other times not so much. In fact, I think I got this for like $12, and it's in pretty much new condition, so... Um, but you can pay over $200 for the book, so you kind of just got to keep a, keep a lookout. But this goes over um, pretty much everything and anything to do with digital logic, and I have read probably half this book. Some of it was reviewed for my undergrad days, but um, it goes over all the, uh, you know, the, the, the gate logics and um, uh, up through advanced topics like Carnot maps and, and how to simplify um, simplify logic, things like that. So um, 
highly recommend it. Um, this talks about computers uh, up to like I think 16-bit, which was top end for the era, unlike you know 64-bit we have today. But um, it definitely empowers you to be able to build, um, you know, adders, subtractors, things like that. Um, and eventually, I think this goes into kind of its uh, uh, own version of the computer. I think they had like an SAP algorithm, simple as possible computer, something like that. But um, I've taken a little bit of a pause on this because this got really heavy towards the uh, later half of the book. Um, and I wasn't quite prepared to start building out like a, you know, 8-bit computer. Uh, kind of a lot of ICs involved in that. Um, but I probably will at some point. So, very cool book. Um, starts very basic at uh, how, you know, number systems work, whether it's uh, base 10, binary, hex, you name it. This book will pretty much teach you uh, from the ground up how to, how to understand it. Um, and in fact, they have very helpful analogies that uh, um, uh, relate most of the number systems to like a car odometer and, and how the, the numbers roll over um, to kind of give you a baseline understanding of how, uh, whether you're in decimal or binary, the number systems work. So anyways, check it out if you haven't. Um, excellent book. And uh, I originally got... This book is my 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 godfather book of uh, you know the holy bible of uh, electronic information and um, yeah the instructor's annotated edition really is just a couple extra pages here and there that really are useless so don't think you have to get that version um, yeah this was also written just as a note so this is Malvino and uh, that was the same as this book so. Um, Malvino, uh, while he did a great job on the computer book, this one, um, he probably did a great job, but to be honest, it's a little bit over my head right now because the very first part of this book says, I'm assuming you've already done a complete DCAC circuit uh, class in college. And it's like, well, not exactly. So um, once I was looking at this, uh, I started to realize it was going a little heavy into like the semiconductor component stuff and uh, right out the gate, by the way. And uh, I wanted to get um, a little bit more of a, um, you know, from the ground up book, um, starting with like all the different kinds of uh, network analysis, uh, you know, ways to, to analyze circuits and stuff like that. Um, and of course, having a book that actually does go over the basics of, you know, Kirchhoff's laws and, and you know, uh, the theorems, of, you know, Norton theorem and things like that. So um, I kind of tabled that book. I do want to get back to it. But uh, the book I decided to get after much deliberation was Graub's Basic Electronics. And um, so far, uh, granted I've only read like the first couple chapters and much of that is review, uh, this book seems like the missing link. This, this seems like the perfect book to have before you read this one. So um, I'm hoping that this book will pretty much carry me uh, through uh, all the knowledge I need to know in order to understand most of the stuff that Malvino has in that Electronic Principles book. So um, for those of you who are really into self-study, as you can tell, I am. I have a fairly decent library now of books. Um, I would highly recommend these books. They are excellent. Um, some people prefer The uh, Art of Electronics by Horowitz, I think it is. and um, I managed to like see like a sneak peek, uh, you know, version of like like a single chapter of the book, and it seems honestly a little bit tough to read. Um, could have just been the writing style of the era. I don't know. Uh, do I recommend it? I really can't say. It's probably an excellent book. Many people do recommend it, but um, yeah. Anyways, um, to each his own. Uh, you can only pick so many books on the subject. So, good luck and. Uh, if I have any more books that I add to my library, I will probably do a follow-up review. Otherwise, um, in case you ask the question, hey, where's Chris? Where are the videos? They're coming, they're coming, but uh, just bear with me. Um, I'm kind of doing some self-study, and I may or may not return to the Make Electronics book to finish off that series. Uh, part of me wants to. Um, the other part of me is like, eh, you know, they're they're a little bit cumbersome. Um, they start to become uh, 
they, they, they require a lot more of your energy in order to finish the experiments. Um, but what's nice about that book is it does take you far enough to allow you to feel confident in not only purchasing components, but um, purchasing books uh, that uh, you know you, you hope can help you fill in the gaps where you now start to see um, that the Make Electronics book didn't. So, good luck, and I will see you guys later. Bye.